What's up guys, not Super Mario here and welcome to today's video. Today we are here to talk about what was the point of Lion King remake. Yes, I saw the movie on Sunday, so two days ago. First of all, I have to say the original one is my favorite Disney movie ever. It's in my top 10 movies ever made. Is as perfect as you can get. The original one, it, I have no complaints. I've seen it a thousand times. I see this movie like once a month because I just loved it from the beginning till finish. It's incredible. So of course I was excited for a remake because it's so good. The original is so good and they, they announced John Favreau as director and all the technology behind it. And yes, it is breathtaking to watch. John Favreau and the team behind it made something groundbreaking and I want to see this technology being used more and more in other movies because it's so incredible how amazing this movie looks. It's really, really real. It, it, sometimes I was like, am I watching real lions doing shit? And then I, it's incredible. I, I, I was blown away by how it looks. But, because it looks so real, it's, that's the biggest problem of this movie. Because it looks so real. It lacks the, the freedom of animation, what emotions animals show when they're real looking. The biggest problem of this movie are lions. And when you have in the title Lion King and lions are the biggest part of the movie, it's a problem. I mean, uh, at least I felt like that. You have to know, if you've seen a lion in person, in the zoo or maybe in Sahara Desert or maybe even close up if you had some dangerous encounter with a lion, I hope not. Lions are very stoic animals. They have two expressions. When they're angry, they show... Ah! And when they're happy, sad, excited, exhausted, the same look. They have the same look always. It's like that. And that was the problem of the movie. It was really hard to feel and connect and have all of that joy that the original makes you feel in this movie. I, I had a friend, my best friend went with me and he never seen the original and I know he lives under a rock, a big rock, because I don't know how in the world he wasn't, he has never seen the original one, but he was excited for this one. He really loved Aladdin and he was excited for this one. And he had this problem that I had with this movie. I mean, I saw the original and I, I still like this movie, but it wasn't, it, 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 it was so hard to connect, to believe what am I hearing and what the story is because spoiler alert Mufasa dies and my my friend said like it it happened so fast I couldn't I I I, I didn't care as much as as, as I should it probably the, the problem as well was because everybody knows Mufasa dies and if you haven't seen the original one and for the first time you see Lion King is this version you're like Okay, he died, and but because of all of this realistic looking animals and background and everything, it's really hard to to be like, oh, I'm, I'm emotionally invested, Mufasa, oh my gosh, because I, I pretty much always cry when I see Lion King, because it's so heartbreaking, you can feel it, Simba is devastated, Scar is manipulating with everybody, Mufasa, I mean, the best dad ever, he, he will do everything for his son, but in this movie you don't feel that. And it's not voiceover problem, it's the problem how realistic lions look. And the lions were like all the other animals, when they talk or when they are expressing something, I could see and feel, oh, yeah, Timon and Pumbaa are sad. Now they're scared because they're running away. They, oh, Nala is chasing them. Now they're happy. They're singing Hakuna Matata, everything. But the lions didn't show any emotions because they're lions, stoic animals. You, you can't feel anything. They're like same face all the time, except when they're hungry or angry. That's the only thing. But when they're 
sad, joyful, exhausted, all other emotions that uh, an animal can feel, <laughs> it's, it's the same. And when they are the main focus, they are the main story, everything is around them. I mean, every single character has to do something with the lion. It's, it's hard to, to like be, yes, this is it. And also, the, because you don't have the freedom of animation. When they sing songs, it's really hard, especially just can't wait to be king. In the animation, I mean, it's go, it's very crazy. Lion, like you've got rhinos on elephants, giraffes on top. In this one, you have Simba and Nala just running around under big animals and that's it. It's not as joyful and it, it's not as pleasing to the eye and you're not as invested. Oh my gosh, they're having so much fun. In this one, yeah, you've got two like cats running around and having a great time. It's really well sung, but it, it's not the same feeling. So what I'm trying here to say, what was the point of this movie? First, it's a cash grab. I mean, I'm sorry, but it is. It's, it, Disney is doing these remakes because they know they're gonna make them a lot of money. There's nostalgia factor. I went to see this movie because I love the original. If I wouldn't, I mean, I would see it anyway, because I see it in all the movies pretty much, but if if there was no, if there was no love for Lion King, they wouldn't make this movie. I mean, that's, that's the truth. The other, and hopefully the mo more important, what's, what was the point of this movie is, that John Favreau and the crew and all the voice uh, over actors and everybody who was involved were trying to bring this classic to a, to a new generation with this new technology that they would feel and fell in love with the same thing that I did when I was a kid. I hope that was their intention and I hope they, they made that happen. I'm sure a lot of people love this movie. I like it, I was hoping that I would love it, but I didn't. But at the end of the day, it was, it made so much money in the first weekend, it made more than half a billion worldwide. Like, I think it was 191 million opening weekend in the US, so it's gonna make huge amounts of money, and I get it. They want that, it's business, and I, people should understand that, but I wanna see Disney do, even if they make remakes, do something different with them. I, and it's a really fine line between trying to do something different and just ruin, it, ruin the movie, because to be completely honest, I, 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 would, I wouldn't wanna see this movie like Lion King in a different take or totally different because it's so beloved. So I'm wondering, should we leave classics alone? Let's not remake them. I mean, I guess, I, I guess make something, remake something that wasn't as beloved as Lion King was. But once again, it's business and I understand it. I mean, why am I so excited for Mulan? Because it looks, it looks different. Even though it's a remake, it looks different and exciting. And I didn't watch, I didn't watch Mulan a lot. I, I probably have seen it twice. That, I know I am biased here. I love Lion King. And when you love something so much, it's really hard to be happy with the end product. That's just the truth. That's, I mean, if they ever remake Harry Potter, I'm going to be upset because I don't want to see that. And I'm sure when I'm 60, there's going to be a new Harry Potter. And I don't want that. And even though I was excited for this remake, I was like, ah, why? It's a classic. It's just perfect. Why would you want to do that? But it's business. I'm mumbling too much. I hope that you understand what was I trying to uh, come across, what I'm trying to say here. And if you do agree with me, share it down in the comments down below. And if you don't, share it as well. Let's make a great conversation in the comments down below. And if you enjoy this, my small rant, let's say that, uh, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share this video all over the place, click that bell icon to get notified when I upload. And I see you next time.